we grana we bingly bong and welcome back to my channel where we talk about all things transformers and transformers action figure related and today on my channel we're going to be checking a look at the Autobot Goldbug, who is completely evil because he's from the Shattered Glass universe. Hasbro releasing, finally, the Shattered Glass figures, where the Autobots are the bad guys, and the Decepticons are the heroic good guys. Now, I got mine from a different place this time. I have been getting all of mine from Hasbro Pulse because I wanted the comics that were going along with it. Uh, but to be honest, they're very, very slow at bringing them out. Obviously, they're bringing them out in line with the actual comics themselves because they don't want to re-release the comics before they come out within the comic shops. So for these ones and for future Shattered Glass figures, I have transferred all of my uh, figures over to In Demand. No longer getting them from Hasbro Pulse, so I'll review the comic a lot later on when the comic actually comes out. As we always do on this channel, let's check a look first of all at the box. And the box for these shattered glass figures is gorgeous. Very, very nice. Although I still I'm still unsure about these these side pieces here because they, it does look like it got crushed in the mail, but it didn't. It's just it's just a very, very weird shape. But the front we get the awesome looking art. It's very, very kind of I don't know how you describe it. I'm not very really good at describing art styles, but it's it's a very different style, shall we say, to the ones that we were getting with Earthrise. I love it. Really cool. We still get the Perspex window within these figures. I know Hasbro trying to phase those out, which is uh, probably a good thing, but not great for those people who don't take things out of the box. The front, we get the Shattered Glass logo, Autobot one on this one, and then Transformers in purple and hot pink down there as well top transformers shadow glass takara tomi little perspex window in the top so if you want to look at gold bug's head you can see it uh, at the side we get the full vision of this awesome artwork let's get a little bit of a closer look we can see him in full full action pose there Autobot logo and we can see that he is an Autobot Goldbug on the back we get 22 step change and then we also see a little picture of the figure we'll check a look later on and see if we actually got what we were promised uh, you do get and this is something I love Hasbro please 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 more of this we also get a quick character bio here that says Goldbug was once a young Cybertronian drifter known as Bumblebee, trying to survive on the streets of Polyhex. After joining the Autobots, Bumblebee worked his way up to the ranks and was soon offered an upgrade from, from a new identity known as Goldbug. So we know how he got his new identity. Uh, if you watch my review that I've done on... The Megatron issue of Shattered Glass. We find out how he got his new identity. I won't spoil it. Go watch the review or buy the magazine, buy the comic. It's really good. And then at the bottom, we get Don't Eat Your Children because they have small parts. And then on the bottom, we get a little lion. Inside the box, as always, we get the destructions. And the destructions are no different, obviously, to if you own. Uh, Cliff Jumper, or if you own Bug Bite, or if you own any of the other figures that are from this mold, it's no different. It's just got a different head, slightly different color scheme. I actually really like the transformation uh, that this one does. Um, the same with everything else. I do wish though they'd gone a little bit further and give him some different accessories for this one. Just done something a little bit different um, because every single time they release this mold, we just get the same figure does the same thing same old accessories in different colors they could have done something a little bit different here first we check the box then we check the bot inside so now let's check a look at this bot and yeah this is a really nice alt mode if you like cliff jumpers alt mode from earthrise it is cliff jumpers <laughs> earthrise alt mode with a slightly different color scheme so now we get the blue in the back here would have been maybe nice if they'd gone translucent here as well uh because there's 
definitely not at all a colour match here at all. It's uh, a little bit off-putting. Um, very gold, gold, which is pretty good because I think, and I'll show you the rendering. Actually, I'll bring it out now. So if I bring out the rendering, you can see originally on the rendering, it was kind of a duller, maybe a bronzed gold. This is definitely a, a, a goldier gold. More goldy gold? Goldy gold. Is that right? Probably not. But I think this is actually better than the rendering. I usually kick off when the rendering doesn't match, but I think this one this one looks better than the rendering. What do you think? Something else I do always like on this figure, uh, whichever mold it is, is Hasbro do a great job with these wheels. They're not the kind of just pegged in wheels. They do have hubcaps and stuff. This is obviously a mold that Hasbro has spent a lot of time on and they've re-released this mold a lot. So I'm sure they've got their money back on that one. But overall, it's a really nice mold. The blue uh, Perspex windows look fantastic. I do love me some blue Perspex windows for some reason. It still kind of does the, the back the future car type thing the back wheels don't quite do but da, 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 which is pretty cool as well uh, it rolls very very well even on my super slippy surface you can still hear those wheels turn in which is great logo on the top here obviously the original cliff jumper didn't have a logo here so i am very glad that hasbro has added that since which proves that they actually do listen to feedback sometimes but not all the time accessories accessories this dude has multiple accessories as always um first of all we can put his uh, skeet 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 on so he can get these little skis that he comes with uh obviously this is more of a cliff jumpery type thing but they just fit into the tabs here and the tabs here and then we get this this is by the way if you don't know about this figure this all combines also to make the uh, the kind of cannon that he tries to shoot megatron with and fails um ah, there we go so this is from the classic episode where you see cliff, cliff jumper uh water skiing basically and going across the water i always do like this and actually i do display cliff jumper with in this mode actually because i really like it uh, it's a nice callback to the g1 season uh he also has the rest of the cannon which you just go doo -doo -doo, turn like that and then it pegs in at the top and we get the fully weaponized up take on gold bug cliff jumper whatever so now it's time for the comparison and let's compare it to the other versions of this mold that I have. First of all, the original cliff jumper and then the bug bite as well. So, so for those of you who've watched my video or you've actually read the second issue of Shatterglass from IDW, you know that this dude, basically this is, this is Shatterglass Bumblebee, this is Shatterglass Goldbug and this dude turns into this dude as we've already said. Uh, I think together they look really, really good. Um, overall, though, I think I, I I prefer these two to Cliff Jumper, um, just because I don't, uh, as an alt mode for Cliff Jumper, it's okay. But I think I'd still rather it be the kind of deformed Porsche look than the one that we get. But yeah, I think overall they they look great. And this is this is probably this is probably still my favourite look um but this is definitely this is definitely a look it's definitely it's pretty nice it's pretty nice uh they all these two have share the the blue glass obviously this one is completely blacked out windows but overall i do really like the way that this looks and then we'll also bring out the shattered glass prime as well so you can see next to prime how this looks and we also learned in that first second issue sorry of shattered glass how prime got his shattered glass well worth checking out i'm loving the shattered glass comic book series and i'm covering every single episode on this channel transformation time then and we will start by just pulling of this we'll come back to you later because you will become an accessory accessory uh then we will just lift this section up here and untab this little element that's down here. There we go. And untab the element that's there as well. Um, move this section up and then you can just rotate everything down. Once you've rotated everything down, let's sort the feet out a little bit while we're here. So check this, check this, and then rotate down. 
Love what we have to do with the feet here. This is such a cool piece of the transformation. You'll then be kind of left with, with him standing like this. Separate the arm and separate the arm. And then you can stand the dude up and spin the dude around. Push the section up, 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 down, down. And there we have our bug bite. There, the bug bite. His name is Goldbug. I'm a gold bug. And then we can stick on this section at the back. Now, there's different ways to stick this on. I stick this on the way that I like this stuck on. All right, I know this probably isn't the correct way, but I like it this way because it actually reminds me of the way that the throttle masters or throttle bots were with the, the section actually came up and I stick mine on this way. You can rotate, stop the comments. You can rotate it and have it that way, but I choose, I choose not to. It's a choice. Now let's take a look at this bot in its fully extended mode here. And this is a cracking looking little bot. I've always really liked this mold in this in this mode. Um, very, very cool. I also really like the way that this dude transforms as well. The main difference on this one, obviously, is the head, which is a really nice take on a gold bug head. Yeah, uh, Goldbug, I really liked it as growing up as a kid. I never actually owned a Bumblebee, which is a bit odd considering I was down since day one. Uh, but I did own a Goldbug and I really liked the Goldbug as well. Um, overall, you know, this thing just looks really, really nice. You've got those black and gold just to really set off that gold against the black. The original Goldbug, obviously from G1, was just completely gold. And I really like the the black and the gold the way that it sets each other off very very cool blue head blue head is okay um i think i'd have preferred a golder head or a black but the blue is is nice is nice i guess and then the back yeah he has a backpack that can i'll do it again that can be switched around like this and this is the way that the instructions or the destructions if you really care about these things that's the way it tells you to as i've already said i have it like this because i prefer it because it does look more like the classic g1 throttle bot look overall this thing looks really good from a posability and articulation point you'll get a full 360 on this head it'll go up it'll go down it'll go 360 on the arm there you can get a bend, a bend, a bend, a bend at the arm, and then you can also rotate that a full 360 as well. You'll also get articulation on the hands as well, so that is pretty, pretty cool. You'll get a full 360 here at the waist, and you'll get some, also get some ab crunch to the, the back. <laughs> and then when we check a look downstairs, we can see that we can get a full swing to the back, a full swing to the front, and all the way out to the side. You'll get a really nice knee bend here as well, and then some foot articulation that goes crazy, crazy over the, over the top. And I think it also, no, just to the side, to the side. But very, very good from an articulation and posability point. You can get some very, very good things. He's not going to fall over because he's got some really, really big stompers. Accessories, accessories. This dude has got accessories. So the first thing we have here is this section, uh, which is part of the cannon. And that separates pink, into two smaller cannons so that we can put them both here and here. So you can have him with... Pew, pew, pews. Pew, pew, pews, which is pretty cool. And then if you don't want him to have his pew, pew, pews, pew, pew, pews, you can get this section, close this section, get this and get this, put those pieces together, stick this section in the back of this section. And then these bits that before were the kind of glider bits or the skis, they then tab into the front and they tab into the front to make that kind of long range pistol, long, long range pistol. It's definitely not a pistol. That long range kind of sniper rifle that 
he didn't aim with very well. I don't like this because it's just too damn big. You know, it's it's okay if you want to kind of lie him down, which I guess with that articulation you really can do. If you want to have him lying down like that, then it's okay. Anything else, it just looks a little bit naff. So now it's time for the comparison and let's bring out his kind of mold mates in the form of Cliff Jumper and in the form of Bug Bite or even a Shad Glass Bumblebee because this is what he looks like. Uh, so we can see here that together they do look pretty cool. Uh, I, I really like this little collection here together. Um, probably, again, the best two looking bots for me, these two. And I do think he's a great addition he's definitely worth the pickup i wasn't overly happy with him when i saw him first released i just thought oh, that's a little bit lazy but actually in hand i'm really pleased that i've got him i haven't just got him to complete the shattered glass collection like i did with megatron i was very disappointed in that figure but this one no, this is this is all right and then finally let's bring him up against his rival his rival for power optimus prime we can see together that they do look really really good and obviously the size is comparable because prime is definitely bigger than goldbug Time for my final thoughts on this dude then. Would I recommend picking him up? Yeah, hell yeah. Especially if you don't have this mold already. It's probably, like I say, I have a few of these, but it's my second favorite. No, probably maybe my favorite. I don't know. It's probably on par with Bug Bite and really cool considering Bug Bite or Shattered Glass Bumblebee does turn into this figure in the comic books. So it's pretty cool to have both of them on my shelf now. Very, very nice. He's a great figure. Um, he doesn't feel any more premium, though, even with all these extra paint apps than the other two. Megatron did feel a little bit more premium when I got him in hand. But overall, this is a great, great great figure i uh, can't wait until i get his story in his comic book because i'm loving this shattered glass series uh, i still have starscream to get hasbro up slow with sending me that dude so i'll wait for that one to come and then i think i think there's only jet fire after that oh i can't wait for that Thanks for checking out my video today. That is everything on the awesome gold bug. Let me know your thoughts on this one down in the comments. And as always, I'll see you in my next video. All right, guys, in a bit. Peace.